Hi folks, Dave here. Well, I decided to make a quick video this morning about 12 and 24 volt car radiator fans, and I'm going to do a direct and scientific comparison between the two of them. This is for direct PV driven DC solar shed ventilation. And in the last video, I showed a 24 volt car radiator fan, and it performed very, very well. I was very impressed with it. And however, I didn't show the 12 volt fan operating alongside. Let's do an actual scientific bench test, an actual comparison on the workbench to see which is the best match for a 50 watt solar panel. Now, in order to do this test, I went into my other metal shed and I took the 24 volt car radiator fan back out. I actually deployed this in my shed. It works so well. I put it in there almost right away, but I took it out. This has actually been in my shed. It's a little bit dirty. This is a 24 volt fan. You saw this in the last video. This is a standard 12 volt fan. This was actually in my shed uh, well over a year ago. This is a 12 volt car radiator fan, 85 watts. This is pretty much the same fan, but it's brand new. So we have two 12 volt fans. We can try putting them in series and we can compare them to the 24 volt fan. Now, unfortunately this morning, it is not very good for solar. In fact, there's basically none. However, not to be stopped from getting this video done, there's actually a workaround. And the answer is that in the upper left hand corner of the screen, you can see some green numbers right up there. And that is actually my benchtop power supply. It's a constant current, constant voltage bench power supply. Now a solar panel is a current limited source. Incidentally, the bench power supply is a current limited source. What I've done is I've programmed it to 18 volts DC at 2.5 amps. And the result is that this benchtop power supply will simulate in a scientific environment, a solar panel that is not going to change when the sun goes through a cloud, or maybe it gets a little bit hotter and the solar panel becomes less efficient. That way we can do an exact comparison between these three different fans that I'm going to show you today and we'll see how much power we can get out of each of these fans. And we can compare 12 and 24 volts directly and we can also try putting these in series. All right, let's proceed with the test. So my bench power supply is set to 18 volts. The 50 watt solar panel can produce around 17 to 18 volts, maybe two and a half amps. It depends. So what am I using to power my workbench today and the bench power supply and so forth as well as the camera light? Well, I'm using my Pecron E600 LFP solar generator. I have temporarily moved it over to the shelf here. I'm still moving things around in the workshop and that's gonna be powering the fans through the inverter, through the bench power supply so that I can get the current limiting that I need to simulate a solar panel. I do have to mention that this is not very safe. These fans are extremely powerful and you really don't wanna run them open like this, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this so I can make a video. I don't uh, recommend running them without a fan girl. You really need something over this side to protect people's fingers. Now this is a uh, blue is positive, black is negative. I almost never run the fans any other way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook the bench power supply up. And in the upper left hand corner, you can see what the bench power supply is putting out. It's putting out 18 volts. This simulates the open circuit of a solar panel. So it, a solar panel when it's not loaded is gonna be putting out an open circuit voltage. Now I've lowered mine to 18 volts. That's just better for this test. Um, the solar panel will be putting out like 21 volts probably. It really doesn't matter. For this type of test, you really want about 18 volts. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Five point seven volts, two and a half amps, something like that. Five point seven volts. Now, on a real solar panel, it's probably going to be a little higher than that, and of course, it varies depending on the temperature of the solar panel, the sun, the angle of the sun, and all that good stuff. But this is a good way to get a controlled test environment where we can compare these fans head to head directly and see how they perform. Uh, based on their impedance. So let's go ahead and move on to the second 12 volt fan, which is brand new, and see if that's any better. Okay, here's another 12 volt car radiator fan, 12 inch, and this is pretty much brand new. Uh, I may have turned it on a few times, but it hasn't really been in any serious use. Let's see if it does any better. Okay, so it's uh, six point it's about a quarter of a volt higher than the last fan. Perhaps because it's a newer fan or perhaps it's just slightly different, it's a little bit higher voltage and therefore a little bit higher impedance than the other fan, but it's pretty much the same thing, so it's okay to put these in series. The next test is gonna be putting these in series. Let's go ahead and give that a try. 
Okay, the next test I uh, get a lot of questions about, and this is about putting two car radiator fans in series. Good idea. Question is, what exactly are we going to get in terms of voltage? So I'm going to place them in series by putting positive to negative on one side. And then i got to hook the bench power supply up to the other terminals. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, black is negative and blue is positive. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see what we get. It's about 11.8 volts, something like that. Okay, so that is actually a very interesting result. It turns out that putting two of the car radiator fans in series blows a nice amount of air. I mean, there's a lot of air coming off these fans. You can't see it on the camera, but I assure you quite a lot is coming off. The voltage of these two fans in series climbed to about 11.8 volts, which is pretty good, and it's about what you would expect because about half of that would be 5 volts and some change. And it works very well. There's no problem with that. So yes, you can run two 12-volt car radiator fans in series, and you can get more air through the fans if you add the two together than you would with a single fan in theory because you're getting a higher voltage. See, with a single fan, I'm only getting like 5, 6 volts times 2.5 amps. However, with two of these in series, I get 11.8 volts times 2.5 amps. Remember, a solar panel is a current-limited source. This proves that two fans running in series can get you a lot more air moving than a single fan, not because you're running two fans, but because the solar panel wants to be at a higher voltage or it's not efficient. Okay, so let's do the last test, and that is the 24 volt car radiator fan. After this test, it's going right back in my shed because it works so well that I want to keep using it. I only have one right now. Hopefully I'll have the money to get two or three in the future. I'd like to try some different fans, but these tend to cost a lot more. These 24 volt car radiator fans, I don't know why, they really jack the price up. I guess because 24 is a higher number than 12. Other than that, it's the same fan, but that's the way things are. Okay, I haven't made any changes to the bench power supply. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see what happens. Okay, 10 point, we'll call it 10.9 volts. Now, what you can observe is that the amount of power utilization that you get from the 24-volt fan is absolutely better than the 12-volt fan. However, it's roughly equivalent to two 12-volt fans in series. And that makes perfect sense because this is basically a, ma a matter of impedance. Solar panels want to have a certain impedance measured in ohms on their terminals to reach their efficient voltage, which is called VMP or volts max power. That's what I call it. And if you put the wrong fan on there and it pulls the voltage down too low, it's not efficient. You'll get the same current. It'll be about 2.5 amps, but the voltage will be very low. As you know, voltage times current is wattage or power. In order to see which of these fan solutions is the most effective, all you have to do is multiply the numbers you see up here, which is the voltage under load and the current under load, and you get a pretty good answer of what the actual power is on that fan. The simple fact is that a 12-volt fan is not a terribly good match to a 50 watt 12 volt solar panel. However, it does work and it moves a nice amount of air and it's going to run forever. It doesn't have any electronics and it's easy to maintain and easy to use. A 24 volt car radiator fan, just because it's a higher impedance overall, is going to give you more power dissipation and it's more efficient and it's a better match to that 50 watt solar panel under a variety of conditions. Two 12 volt fans in series pretty much does the same thing as a 24 volt car radiator fan. The question is, how do you want to use it? Personally, I like all those solutions, and I don't really have room to put two fans side by side, unfortunately. So for that reason, I'm going to stick with a 24-volt fan in my small shed, and I'm going to use a 12-volt fan in the other shed just because I have a speed controller on it and a DC converter. <laughs>